Okay, today I'm going to talk about uh, forming uh, uh, bassoon reeds using the rubber band method. The pieces of tools that I need are some cane. Uh, this has been gouge shaped profiled. Uh, it's been scored on both sides and, it's, and all four corners have been beveled. I will also need some forming mandrels. I happen to like the ones where I can uh, separate them and then put them into a drying rack and with a separate handle. Uh, my forming mandrels taper uh, 89 thousandths of an inch for every inch in diameter. Uh, that's uh, If you're doing that on a lathe, that's about a two and a half degree uh, angle on the, on the taper. Okay, so what do I need to do? Okay, so I'll put my forming mandrel into, into a handle and tighten it up. I'll take a piece of cane that I've, I've soaked this cane uh, several hours. Uh, I usually do it overnight, but um, something like five or six hours is usually good. Certainly if it sinks, it's perfectly good, uh, but uh, you don't need to over soak it. Okay, I've folded it in half and the two edges don't quite match up. So I did kind of miss the middle a little bit when I was folding it, but I can fix that a little bit by, by bending it a little bit this way and holding it tight. And now they're tight together and the two ends match. But they don't match quite this way in, in this direction. The edge here, the corners don't meet each other. And you want to make that so that the corners really do meet each other. The best way that I've found is to put it in between your teeth, take it on here and bite in this direction, and that will just push those two sides right together. So, I've pushed them together, they're uptight, they're now the corners are right against each other. I take my rubber band, again this is uh, about seven inches long uh, and a quarter inch wide, and I start at the butt end of the reed and I start wrapping. And I work my way toward the, the uh, tip of the reed. I, I pull these fairly tight so that I've got about, the, the rubber band has, has narrowed to about two thirds of its, of its relaxed width. And I wrap this down until I'm close to the shoulder here. I don't I don't go on to the on to the uh, profiled part of the uh, reed. And then and then I work my way back up toward the top. And when I get to the uh, to the end I, I start working my way back again. And I usually get about halfway back again, and then I just fold the rubber band in on itself so that it's, it's nice and tight like this. So I've got something that's looking like this, okay, and you can see it's wrapped that way. Okay, now I just take my forming mandrel and I insert it into the middle of the gap at the butt. Okay, so that's into the middle of the butt. Okay, and I found that it's very important that when you push this in, you don't twist it. And I have been very bad about that over the years, and that when I, when I just take it and I just push it in, invariably I twist it. And so what I have taken to doing recently is I set my forming mandrel onto the table and I grab the reed and I just push it down. And I push it down until the two ends of the reed, the two blades just start to separate from each other. Okay, so those are just I don't I don't know if you can see that but but the gap here there's a tiny little gap there uh, as they're as they're that and then uh, you're not going to be able to see it but my forming mandrels are long enough so that I can if I hold this up to a light wonder if I can do that 
I hold this up to a light, you can often see the tip of the forming mandrel right in the middle. And so I make sure that that's in the middle. Okay, so I've, I've made sure that, that the tip is in the middle. And then I take it and I put it on my drying rack and I let it sit for about a day until I do the next step. Again, if I, I'll just do one more. Take a read out of a blank out of that. I got another forming mandrel on here. Fold it in half. Make sure the ends come close to meeting or about the same length. There, that, that does it. Put it in between my teeth so that I've got it so that the corners are meeting. wrap again I, I try not to overlap the rubber bands on, on on the wrapping that I'm doing sometimes I'm good at that sometimes I'm not go down toward the tip come back toward the butt of the reed come to the butt work my way backward toward the tip do a couple of wraps and tuck the end under. Yes, I got the end under. Put my mandrel into the middle of the reed. There it is. It's into the middle of the reed. Set it on the table. Push. Just a little bit more. That looks good. That's in the center. And I'm ready to do a thousand more. Oh, no. I do them in, in groups of 16. Anyway, sits for a day. I'll, I'll come back and show you what I do uh, after that. Thanks. Bye.